Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? So let's see what's going on for Aquarius in Love Spirits Angels Guides. Okay, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Now, Aquarius, keep in mind this reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, Spirit, anything else? What's going on for Aquarius in love? What's going on for Aquarius in love? Okay, we have tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. Okay, so one of you feels this way. Maybe one of you is trapped in a situation that is affecting the success of this connection. Um, I feel like you've been waiting for this or you've been waiting to be with this person uh, because I have worth waiting for here. So let's see what we get with the tarot. I'm just going to put this over here. Get some insight into your connection. Spirits, angels, guides. Give me some insight into this connection. For Aquarius. What's going on in this connection between Aquarius and this other person? On. between Aquarius and this other person. Okay, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. And the Knight of Pentacles. So someone's kind of, I feel, holding on for this offer. Uh, maybe you've waited for a long time for this offer to arrive. This could be also your person having to be strong, courageous. Maybe they're dealing with a difficult situation and is preventing them from having this opportunity that they want. So let's see, let's get some more insight. Tell me about strength. What is the strength card about? Oh wow, a tower. Yeah, someone has to be strong to deal with a tower that it, or a tower moment that's happening in their life. Uh, maybe this was a tower moment in this connection that they're still dealing with, you or this person. Tell me more about the strength card. What's going on here with strength? What's going on with strength? Page of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe this is going to help them achieve their goal. I have the Magician here at the top of the deck, and at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. So it makes sense to me. I just split the deck, and there's the Devil, and this devil, there's a Devil energy here, or a Devil picture. Um, in this picture, there's a Devil here. So there could be a toxic situation, or an unhealthy situation, a difficult situation, just overall, that someone's dealing with here. The Devil is also a card about restriction, so it makes sense that we have the Tied Up card here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles card? About spare what? Knight of Pentacles card. We have the High Priestess. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Swords. Top of the deck, I have the Ace of Pentacles. So, interesting. I feel like someone wants to be free here uh, with the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what else I can get here for this Nine of Pentacles. Let's see. 
Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles here. Page of Swords. Okay. Can I get one more? Yeah, there's the Fool and the Hierophant. So some of you are dealing with a third party. I feel another commitment. Taurus energy here. I think this is someone that wants to be free of a commitment. Um, or free of expectations. You know, what's what society expects from them. I have the lovers at the top of the deck here with the Gemini energy here. And then the Ten of Wands. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to be free of this burden they've been carrying for a long time. Um, this is very similar to the Libra reading I just did too. Although this, this one is more, I don't know, it just feels like this one's more in my face, like more in your face in terms of like what's happening here. Can I get some insight into the tower? Tell me more about this tower spirit. The knight of wands. Yeah, this tower is going to help someone go after what they want. Bottom of the deck is the ace of cups. And top of the deck is the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So the this, um, or actually no, King, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Sorry, they kind of look similar from the back. So I feel like um, someone's going after what they want or they have a choice between two. And there's the Ace of Pentacles there. But this was at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's walking away from something for love. The King of Cups here as well. Tell me more. Oops. Tell me more about this tower. Can I get one more for this tower? Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone's going to get what they want, for sure. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone, I feel, is uh, leaving a long-term commitment or a family situation or leaving, like, family obligations behind. Something like that. There's a lot of fear here that I feel keeps someone a bit stuck. Um, but I feel like this is about someone here becoming free free of all of this uh, in order to make an offer or or approach an opportunity somewhere else. I do see that. So I keep getting the Ace of Pentacles here. What's this Nine of Cups in regards to? And then we'll look at both of your energies. Can I get one more for the Nine of Cups? Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's pretty clear there. Empress at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, so that's what's going on in your connection. So let's see how you feel about each other. I have a deck for each of you here. First, I'm going to start by getting an energy oracle for both of you. Spirit, tell me more about Aquarius. What is the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? Okay, we have burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. So I feel like, okay, there's obviously chemistry here, but what I'm getting to from this, uh, the minute I saw this card is a yearning. I feel like you miss this person. Maybe you think about the good times. There's like a, a, a need that I'm picking up from this card. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is de dealing with. Tell me about this other person. We have balancing act, juggling and decision balance. This person's juggling multiple things at once. I have judgment call at the bottom of the deck. So this person's undecided about the judgment call they have to make. Maybe they go back and forth about what they need to do. Yeah, but they have a they have a desire that they want to achieve is what I'm getting here far apart right behind that yeah I don't think you are with this person I feel like a lot of you are separated from this person and then we have timing so this could be divine timing you haven't come together yet because it hasn't been the right time 
or the right um, situation or, you know, things just haven't, the cycle is not completed for both of you. Let me grab a hidden oracle, hidden truth oracle. Tell me about Aquarius, please. I want to be more than friends. Some of you need to look at that Libra reading if you're dealing with a Libra because they got that card too on their side. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, you're definitely not together with this person. Okay, let me get some secret moon oracles here. Tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. I wasn't ready. I feel like this is probably what this person told you because they left you before you could leave me. That's kind of the energy of like, this person got spooked about something. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What is their energy? Person that Aquarius is dealing with at this time spirit. I'm working on myself. Hmm. You matter to me at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person's having some regrets. If they did leave you, um, I don't think that it worked out for them very well. Should I get an extra card here? Spirit, can I get an idea on this person's true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? Okay, we have a firefly. Let me look at that real quick. This is almost like the spark to, to kind of um, work on something while before time runs out. Do something before time runs out, that kind of energy. But I want to look at it anyway. So this high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, this card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. Our job is to be ready to harness this when it graces our, pass, our path. So this is inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. So I feel like this is someone that feels that time is running out or they need to jump on something. Um, I feel like this, this balancing act is them kind of going back and forth unsure, but I have a feeling that if they don't act on this, like the opportunity will not be there for long. If they don't take it, they don't, they don't take this and run with it. I don't think this is something that would just be there this whole time. Or like, I feel like this is something that someone needs to kind of, when the window opens, go for it. Or when the door opens, go for it. We have the oyster at the bottom of the deck. This person probably has, hasn't told you how they felt or hasn't opened up about something to you. So let's look at both of your energies. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius. How's Aquarius thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Okay, we have the wheel. Wow, the wheel of fortune. I feel like you've been waiting for this person. You've been waiting for something to happen in this connection. Five of Cups, yeah. And I feel like you've been thinking about the past. Maybe you're missing this person. Maybe you have some sort of regrets or disappointment when it comes to the to the past. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I think you still think about this separation, what happened between you. Tell me about the wheel. King of Wands, yeah. I feel like you still want this. You still want this connection. You think of this connection. Yeah, this is your happy ending with the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. 
I feel like you just want another opportunity or you feel like this was a missed opportunity. Ten of Wands. Ooh, okay. So I'm getting here. Some of you are still carrying this ending. Um, it's almost like a weight here. I have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. I feel like what happened, you haven't been able to move past it. You might even be saying no to new opportunities because this is really the only one that you want. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I feel like this is some, this is this person returning. I feel is what you would like most of all. I have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you wish that they could tell you how they feel, that they tell you that they love you or care about you. Um, I think this will make you very happy, Aquarius. Um, are you? You know, let me know in the comments. Would you want to hear from this person? Would that make you happy to hear from them? To know what they are thinking or feeling about you? Tell me more about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Well, we have the Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. I feel like they have not, their feelings have been changed. Despite the, the time that has passed, um, maybe they're waiting for something here with this Three of Wands, but I feel like um, the love is still there. And the star, Aquarius energy, there you are. Um, I think they still have a hope, a wish for this to happen, have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I think you and this person want the same things or are thinking of the same things. Why is the Three of Wands here? Six of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Four of Swords. This person cares a lot about how they're seen or what others think of them or you know I feel like um there's something holding them back here four of swords and then I have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck and then the four of pentacles yeah it's almost like this person's thoughts keep them like holding back or cause them to hesitate I feel like maybe they have a lot of eyes on them or perhaps they feel a lot of societal pressure. Tell me about the Three of Wands. The Hangman, yeah. This person, I feel like the reason why you've been waiting so long is because they are either stuck in a situation due to maybe personal responsibilities or, or pressures. And I feel like because of that, they've kept you waiting here. Tell me about the star. What's the star about? Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. The Lovers. Gemini Energy. Interesting, I have the devil at the bottom of the deck here. Once again, this is how this person is. They're stuck. And I feel like while they're stuck, they think about you. They think about this connection. They think about wanting to talk to you. There could be a divine connection here. Um, divine timing, you know, is that working your love life? You have the wheel of fortune. They have the lovers. And sometimes, you know, for me as a reader, when these two are together, it's almost like... Um, like divine timing you know or like spiritual spiritually guided energy here yeah this person wants to talk to you i think they want to talk about the ending between you yeah they want to talk to you knight of swords page of wands here because i feel like this person still cares but I have a feeling that, you know, it's, it's that's not enough. They have to address whatever it is they're dealing with in their life right now. Yeah, there's the wheel again. Two of Cups. Yep. And then the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like you've been waiting a really long time for this. 
or this is divine timing at play and that's why there's a waiting game so what is next what can we expect for this connection I'm gonna pull a couple of cards here spirit tell me what's happening next for this connection between Aquarius and this other person what's happening next we have the six of wands what's next Oops. we have temperance Sagittarius energy what's next eight of cups interesting I feel like um, there's a good chance for someone to walk away from the situation that they find themselves in I do have the nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck this is a card that symbolizes independence security uh, what's behind that page of swords and behind that the ace of Pentacles so they could be definitely walking away towards a new opportunity here we'll see when we clarify but uh, the top of the deck I have the ace of wands so I feel this is some of this thinking about a new beginning there could be a new beginning ahead here in store for you and this person um, all it all it's gonna take is this person to actually make that judgment call that they've been thinking about maybe spirit is helping them with this I do have the temperance card here which is a very spiritual card this is two very difficult things coming together in balance and harmony this is also a card about patience you know success is probably in the horizon but their patience is is required here <laughs> um let me see if i can get one for temperance four of swords yeah i don't think there's anything happening right now it's just someone thinking reflecting um planning i feel uh if you enjoyed this reading please consider hitting the like button subscribing uh, thank you so much for watching for your kind comments please let me know if this resonated for you or if you just want to say hi in the comments I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, Aquarius, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.